She just couldn't hold back her anger. The stepdaughter of a woman killed as young children looked on comes face to face with the killer. And wait until you hear what she said before the judge hauled him off to prison. Raw emotion today inside a Detroit courtroom as Earl Maxwell was sentenced for the cold blooded murder of his girlfriend. Making matters worse is what Maxwell said to the court before his sentence was handed down. Let's get right to Mar McDonald. She's live tonight. Mar, he reportedly said he loved her. He repeatedly, Kimberly, said that he loved her and how her children managed to manage to keep it together as well as they did. I have no idea because the only thing worse than listening to this man blather on about how much he loved this woman that he murdered was when he started trying to justify what he did. I Children grieving their mother poured it all out in a Wayne County courtroom today. Earl Maxwell was the ex-boyfriend of Latrice Morris Dorsey. He became so enraged with her, he busted into her home last year and shot and killed her right in front of her four-year-old daughter with her 14-year-old son in a neighboring room. My mom was, a, was the nicest person, the most caring person, and for you to take her out of my life like that hurts my heart so much. What disgusted her children even more we were supposed to be dating. We were still dating until this plumber guy came along. Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone. Maxwell continued on with things that had the judge telling him to zip it until finally. But I was wrong. I was wrong and I'm sorry and ain't no way I can repay this. It's, it's between me and the Lord now. I just wanna let y'all know that I have repented with every bone in my body and uh, I can never take this back down here on this earth. And, uh, and and I just want to let y'all know that the Lord gave me a dream that she's with the Lord. And that's the only thing that kept me from, from, from killing myself. Back here alive, her family didn't think much of his repenting. Apparently, the judge didn't either, sentencing him to 25 to 50 years in prison. We're live at the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.